the logo of the Swiss Crypto AG, form several vertical rules of the old world order being interrupted by one single horizontal rule of the new world order in the color red or orange on a white underground, as the cross of the Knights Templars is red on white, who made the new horizontal rule system and founded Switzerland in 1291, the oldest new world order democracy in the world democratically for pharaoh's descendants of the worldwide aristocracy only the per a or the big house that is Here you can see the big house ag behind crypto means aktiengesellschaft which means a shareholders company inc inc in america for incorporated or limited in england from public limited company or plc well, who are the shareholders then? It's a letterbox company seated in Liechtenstein, a principality of Pharaoh's aristocracy, which means the Stone of Light. Again, the Stonesies like Larry Silverstein, Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein, Brian Epstein, Bernard Weinstein, a reference to Pharaoh's aristocracy, the stone builders, as the German word Stein, as in Liechtenstein, it means stone. The offices and factory of Crypto AG are in Zug. Here you can read it Zug, Z U G, where just after 9 11, a Swiss victim of uh, massive Swiss state authority terror, looked up his tormentors and diminished them by 14. And his supporters, who thanked Friedrich Leibacher during a hockey match, got all rounded up and put in the slammer, and where organized crime gets full protection in the canton of Zug. Organized authority crime, as by Crypto AG, and its satellite perpetrators all around. This is the black heart controlling Europe and the United States, because the CIA, the main shareholder, belongs to the Swiss Nazi Templars, where Liechtenstein is one of the centers of the notorious octagon of the Knights Templars. Here you can see their flag with the crown in it. It's all aristocracy with an octagon here money and it is about money here the c is for crypto the word crypto is in the company's name crypto ag it means concealed or secret in greek just as the artwork statue in langley at the cia's building is called cryptos as you can see here with a k and here it says the sculpture has four encrypted messages, but only three of them have been decoded since its creation 30 years ago. Well, I know what the message is, and it's very easy. The message says that the CIA is a Freemason organization in the hands of the Nazi Templars from Switzerland, Le Refuge, or the Hideout because it's a double encrypted message saying square and compass, the concept of four and the concept of three. Of the four messages, only three were revealed. Of three for the side of the pyramid, which is visible to the eye, but four is invisible to the eye as being the base of a pyramid. And we don't know what's underneath, separated by the base four separating the visible part of the pyramid above the sand from the inverse pyramid under the sand therefore the pyramid of death as in auschwitz because freemasonry is a death cult like the ss totenkopf verbander skull and bones but you need to watch uh, the Swiss Beast film to be initiated into the concepts of three and four. 
It's all about numbers and secret words anyway. As you can see here back in Langley again, the um, Kryptos uh, monument in front of the CIA building. And there are equally four parts to a Templar's cross that have each three corners, also referring to the pyramid, where the whole tricky bunch has crawled from underneath in the first place. And here you can see an older video of mine, you just punch in the title here. You see there are four parts, and every part has three sides or three corners. The concept of four and the concept of three. That's why the crypto that's where the cryptos. Uh, monuments where it's all about there were four riddles and they only found three there you go they never find the other one eh? the fourth one and when i was still in the army i heard them call each other cistercians in action a reference to the nazi templars of octogon who came out of the monastic cistercian orders of bernard de clairvaux in troyes in france you all see the Templars cross here. And remember this here, Soc East. It means Sacer Ordo Cistercienses. It means the sacred order of the Cistercians. And you'll see it back in a moment. Eh? All the Fleur de Lis all over. This is where the Knights Templars come from. So remember this, S-O-C, Soc East. It'll come back in a moment. Oh, look, there it is again, eh? S-O-C. They say it means Special Operations Command, but it isn't. It means Sacer Ordo Cisterciensas Ordo Masonica, the Masons. And they come out of the, Cister the, the, out of the Templars, and the Templars come out of the Cistercians. It's all there. And this is where you risk your neck for, you know, for them, for some geostrategical war. Don't, don't wait their wars for them. It's all about numbers and secrets. This is Sacer Ordo Cistercienza Ordo Masonica. The sacred order of the Cistercians and the order of the Masons. And here's the top part of their crest. I couldn't get it all in one pick. You see the Templars cross. It says the order of Cistercians, Sacer Ordo Cistercians. Cistercienses. The CIA was founded in 1946 by the ethnic Swiss General Eisenhower, the ethnic Swiss OSS Alan Dulles, and the ethnic Swiss J. Edgar Hoover of the FBI, which I all explain in my film The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. And the main objective of the CIA is to protect the Swiss Nazi Templar banks and all their accumulated wealth in the Alpine caves. So right in 1945, it needed Operation Paperclip to legalize the Nazi scientists like the war criminal Werner von Braun, who used Auschwitz laborers for his Templar V rockets, and also real Octogon members as General Reinhard Gehlen, whom you can see here in his Maltese order outfit, who was urged to found the German BND secret service, Bundesnachrichtendienst, and a CIA daughter on April the 1st, 1956. Now, that's not a joke. I wish it was April 1st. These two were the main shareholders, not very limited, of Crypto AG, which they bought in 1970 after they accidented Bo Hegelin, the owner's son in the same year, who was against getting the company into the hands of the CIA, Cistercian Nazis. And with a broken father, the inventor of the cryptic machines, Boris Hegelin, an easy business was made buying the company of a dissolution father. Swiss General Eisenhower became US president in the very same year. The Crypto AG was founded in 1952, which is not a coincidence at all. 
The CIA and all the other secret services were never meant to protect the citizens of their respective countries and persecute criminals, spies and drug dealers. They're just there to eliminate the competition. As I call them, the Cocaine Imports Agency in the icon of my other channel. The CIA is nothing else than Swissy's long arm of the Nazi Templars who invented the banks, invented the Czech, were the first multinationals in history and are just a bunch of robber barons with their Alibaba caves in the Alps. Uh, by the way, the notorious Templar's treasure never went to Scotland and Roslyn Chapel. But after it left the French port of La Rochelle with 18 ships, they sailed through the Strait of Gibraltar, straight to their treasure island of Gallinara, which you can see here, in Liguria, Albenga, etymologically from the Latin word Alba for white as in Albenga, which refers to the Perhet, or White House of the Templars, Horizontal New World Order. So this is from one of my older videos um, from 2014 on my channel Gatze Fratz. Here you can see the title. I had a lot more, but I even Templar flags, which I filmed recently on one of my other channels, I, I just can't find them anymore. And of course, there's a lot of it. It's lost because of um, because of deleted channel uh, Gure. But this is the Templars' treasure island. This is where they went to. And from there on, from that island Gallinara, they travelled the Via Templare, still called the Templars' road today, to bring the treasure into Octogon of the Alps because the road through France to the east was controlled by the French king and therefore unsafe, whereas the seaways pretty safe, as the French king had barely any fleet. And from Albenga on through the mountains into Switzerland, all through Templar-controlled territories. No problem. A eh, Swiss, eh? So here you can see an ancient Templar's commandery, very old, which is situated on the Via Templare, next to um, Albenga. It's also an older video. Here is um, here's the title. You can punch it in so you can see it. So here we can see a Templar's map. Here is La Rochelle. I mean, why go here to England and to Scotland? I mean, this is dangerous because of the British fleet. And um, you would never do that, eh? Because the um, the Knights Templars, they were still fighting all the kings with whom they finally made a deal. That's why England is a constitutional monarchy. It's not a real monarchy. It's nothing to do, you know. The only real king was the king of France. So why, why take this dangerous road, you know, very risky, you know, very... Uh, it's a lot of wind and a lot of streams and, and you know, you don't do that, eh? Much easier, take the sunny way here, straight from here, duck here. It gets real nice weather, you don't go around Gibraltar, take the coastal line, or maybe not, and go here. Here, you're quite near to Switzerland. Um, it's about here. Here's Genoa. And here is uh, Albenga with the Treasury Island. He just, just does this little bit here, and you're in Switzerland, right here. Instead of going from here, it's all French king controlled territory. You never make it, especially with a heavy treasure, you know. You're not like a lightweight battalion. Uh, so you go around, because this is all safe. The waterways were all safe. The British king was here with his fleet. You don't want to go there. So you go here. Nobody here. Follow the coastal line. Pick, pick a few fruits on the way. Again, score boot. And there you go. This is the way they took. All the rest is lies. You know, media lies, Hollywood lies, book, uh, from books. You know, they want, us to, they want us to lure into the false stories as usual. And let me tell you, I know... 
It's not a theory. I know that they went here. I'll tell you one day. So here it says La Rochelle. They didn't go up here, you know, a lot of storms, a lot of, you know, and the king, they went south into the sun. They went all around Spain and all that. Instead of, they could never go here to Switzerland through here. It's all, you know, territory by the king. And they made it next to Genoa about here. It's called Albenga. The island is like here. It was all Templars controlled territory. They went all right, duck into Switzerland, especially here, valleys, where most of the, uh, the the Pope's guard they're from this area here. It's called valleys, yeah, and um, they they controlled it all. Uh, it's really too bad I I can't find it. It's one of my latest uploads on Central Intelligence agency or on um, homeland security I, I i have the templars flag in it of this town here i just can't find it and there's a lot of things that, that have been that's gone missing i eh, on my channel Gure. and they say agent edward snowden was stationed in geneva Switzerland, and he leaked in 2013 that the nsa and CIA were allowed to use Swissy's Onyx spy satellite system by the Swiss NDB intelligence service from Bern, which I once filmed, but I can't show it to you anymore because it was on my channel Gure and it was it has been deleted. Snowden said that he had never seen a people more racist than the Swiss, who looked down on everyone. They're rich, arrogant, and class conscious, he said. Why the name Onyx? Well, Onyx is black, and all these names are Pharaoh, Freemason, Rome related. And the demotic Pharaonic name for black is Chem, from Chemit, the Pharaonic word for Egypt. And Onyx is a black stone referring to the underworld. Therefore, most statues of Anubis are in black onyx. So, Kemet for ancient Egypt means the black lands, referring to the lands around River Nile, as the black water in Switzerland called Schwarzwasser, or the contractor killer company for Templar geostrategical wars for the Nazi Templar multinationals called Blackwater founded by a guy called a prince another prince of darkness now blackwater is just another name for egypt i filmed blackwater Switzerland once in one of my older films but i think it's gone with the rest it's the conglomerate of the per a or big house of pharaoh and a better name would be assassin's greed Although creed, their belief system, believing in money and power, absolutely fits in. And they know who they are. Therefore, this film here, with the Templars V here in it, are masters. And one cannot see the crypto case either without referring to Onyx, Edward Snowden, the Templars, Rome, the Blacklands, and so forth. So, when the CIA, NSA, BND, Crypto AG, and the Swiss steal information everywhere from everyone on the globe for 50 years, nothing happens. But when someone like Assange only publishes some intel that he didn't steal, but was given to him for free, he gets destroyed, tortured, dragged in the mud, discredited, criminalized and sentenced to 175 years in prison wishing it were only 20 years this is the difference between master and slaves pharaoh and germanic tribes swiss and europeans we're fucked folks and the ten commandments of pharaoh are not gonna help you or your children you see the Oscars here and all the downward and the inverse and pyramids just on the Louvre or on the wall here are masters.
or here. You see all the Templars V's here? This is not the, uh, the, the pyramid because the angle is more like the V. The pyramid would like be like this. It's a Templars V of our masters or like the... the uh, this is of course the Oscars, you know, like the other pick like before as well. Conditioning the slaves, right? Most so-called Christians love playing the Pope's Inquisition with me by sending me threats because I blasphemed by saying that Christianity didn't work out, criticizing the results only, but not the religion itself, you dumb slaves. You religious freaks and your threats only make me more angry than I already was. So, I say it once again for all you Bible bangers who send me threat mails. Christianity is a good idea and a fine religion. Unfortunately, it never had any true followers over the last 2000 years. It's a historical fact that Christians are the biggest killers throughout history. Two world wars, numerous religious wars like the 30 year war, the inquisition, numerous Christian genocides on Indians, Jews, Bushmen, Aborigines, etc. Christianity was raped by the Christians themselves over and over again and the more threats you send me the more i re i will repeat this christianity was raped by the christians i love the bible which is a fantastic book especially the book of revelations but i'm done with you christians go on send me more threats after all, I've revealed to you about the 666, the beast with seven heads of the Alps, the Sea of Peoples, into which Pharaoh disappeared, the Templar banks of Switzerland and Whore of Babylon, with which all nations traded. You just stab me in the back, you traitors. I'll reveal one more thing, and then I will stop. Go to hell, all of you. In Daniel and the book of Revelation, it says, that the beast has the skin of a leopard with dots on it as leopards are marked, the feet of a bear, the mouth of a lion and the power by the dragon. All this fits on the hyena and symbol of Rome with Ramus and Romulus, which I explain in this video here. So I'm not going to repeat it all. Because I don't feel like telling you traitors and backstabbers much more, really. But I have to. A hyena is skin marked, as a leopard is, called the spotted hyena. And because of its unique matriarchal rulership, empowered by the dragon. Because God is a man, and not some dragon goddess like Hell Vatican or Isis, through which we had two world wars of the Horus Matrix. All God's creation should be male-led, and not by some hyena-adoring pink-list killers. And to make things worse, hyena females have a dick, have more testosterone, and are larger than the males. This is not a joke, really. Does that sound familiar to you? <clears throat> like today's tendency of gender benders walking around in pink t-shirts saying, kill the patriarchy. Therefore, the equally perverted Etruscans of pharaonic descent made children in orgies, like snakes do, with sons not knowing who their fathers were. Like today's fathers having their sons kidnapped forever when divorced. Therefore, Rome took the hyena for symbol, with boys milked by the goddess, who probably created the hyena as well, of which all Africans believe that hyenas have demons. Here, yeah, the spotted hyena and the symbol of Rome has the skin of a leopard, the mouth of a lion, and the feet of a bear. Here, look, it's a completely different color. It's brown, like a bear. You know, it's like socks. It's all mixed together, like, and here's the leopard, and this is a very big mouth. 
It has the, um, the biggest uh, crunching power in the world of all the um, all these um, animals. Then. Today's Rome is Swiziland, the whore of Babylon and her banks, her CIA, her crypto leaks, her persecution of saints like Assange and others, the BIS, the Bank of International Settlements, Promindex Papers, Rubicon, Minerva, you name it. You better not be a man in Switzerland, I tell you, it sucks. Oh, here it is, yeah, with the, uh, the skin of a leopard, the mouth of a, a lion, the feet of a bear, and the dick of a, uh, well, whatever. And in Daniel 7, 6, it says about that same end times beast, that it has four wings of a fowl. And Switzerland has four languages with which the Swiss beast can fly in four wind directions and do harm to the Germans to the north through 30 year war and two world wars. French to harm the French to the west to world wars. French Revolution, Paris terrorist attacks by Abu Musab al Swissri. Italian to harm the Italians by teaching Mussolini and bring havoc over its Italy by the Svizzera Fascisti and Romanche to the east. And a fowl, as in concerning the four wings of a fowl on the beach, is a domesticated, harmless looking bird, like the harmless looking Swiss, of which the Freemasons say a chicken is not a bird. And a woman is not a human, because it's a mason fraternity out of the Templars' brotherhood. So you women, why do you collaborate with them against your man, your fathers, your brothers, and against your own sons through the horrors matrix, kill the patriarchy, huh? You want to be strong as a hyena, hey? But you cannot. It's just birdie birdie needs a nest. So this thing here is called the Distinguished Intelligence Cross of the CIA. You get it after a couple of years in the CIA and when you, you know, got a lot of money in and killed a lot of people. You all see the Swiss cross here behind it, hey? It's not a joke, people. And the circle is the, uh, the concept of three, and here are four things. Here is the concept of four. It says square and compass. So the hyena represents Rome, and today's Rome is Switzerland, and their Templars, Swiss Guard, owning the Vatican. Just as Swiss owns the CIA and NSA. Thus coming back to Crypto AG and Operation Rubicon. Operation Rubicon was the CIA's plan to buy Crypto AG and to put a secret backdoor beforehand in the encrypting machines so Swiss Nazi Templar and their CIA could read all the mail not to target any other governments because all governments in the world is them, New World Order Pharaoh aristocracy but to spy on companies and on the slaves of course. And this is why in the logo here on the floor, you know, you've got the four wings of the beast. This is going to Germany, the languages of Switzerland. You know, this is going to Germany, the 30 year war, two world wars. This is going to France here to the west. This is going to Italy and this is Romanche to the east. And this is all out of the out of the time of the um, of the Knights Templars, because the CIA is Octogon. I made a video once about it, which was called Octogon Rules Over Pentagon. It's gone. It was on Gure, and um, well, they took it off. It's it's gone. I, I I had we had two house searches. They stole everything. The Swiss Gestapo. These videos are gone forever, yeah? So this is what it means, eh? This is Switzerland, the four languages. I mean, it's not natural. In one country, they speak four languages. It's not natural. And there's one in the north here, German, in the west, France, and in the, in the south, it's, it's Italian, and to the east, it's here. 
It's not natural. These things don't come natural. And it's all Swiss, folks. It belongs to the Swiss. The CIA is only there to defend the financial interests of the elite and to eliminate any potential comp competition by the slaves. Because the Knights Templars were just a multinational Swiss robber organization. And there's no secret intelligence agency in the world that has another secret intelligence agency from another part of the world as their enemy. That was all made up by Hollywood and their 007 fairy tales to entertain the slave race and their days off working for the masters. And here you can see it again, you know, the, the four. This is the Distinguished Career Intelligence Medal. And you get it after a couple of years working for them, right? So the circle is the compass, and here are the four uh, wind direction, the, comp the concept of four. So it says square and compass, of course. And the wings, you know, like they're going like this, and they're like this. This is what, these are the Isis horns here in the middle. And the wings are always the wings of Ma'at, of course. The goddess, all goddesses and Egypt and Helvetican and Freemasonry. The CIA is octagon. I also made another film about this. It's also gone. So do copy my videos. It's free anyway. It's my present to you. Okay. The name Rubicon as code word for the operation is a reference to the Italian river where in 49 BC, the mass genocider Caesar crossed the Italian river Rubicon into the goal of the Celts, killing them almost all. So here's the town of Rome and here's the Rubicon. And this here's the goal. So the code word Rubicon means that Swiss operation Rubicon is a further conquest of Rome by today's Rome in the Alps and their CIA Cistercians in action against all other non-Cistercian New World Order Templars. So here you can read it again, Operation Rubicon, like the river in Italy, Caesar, it's the it's the Roman expansion. Um, well, it says here spy versus spy, which is of course not true. It's uh, spy versus the people. You know, well, this this is the newspaper. You know, the uh, the mainstream or whatever. So forget about this, eh? Just Operation Rubicon, CIA, North, West, South, all wind directions, like the river, like what Caesar did. Eh? Caesar, he went north and to the west and the east to the south. Well, this, they came from the south, actually, all pharaohs, which I'm going to show you a little bit more here. Look, this is a more than 2,000 year old, probably gold coin, which Caesar had himself made. Now, why do you think it's inter, it's it's um, separated? See, Sa. Well, you all know now that Sa it means the king, pharaoh. And C, it shouldn't be pronounced C, but it should be pronounced Ka. Ka Sar. It means the soul of the kings. So Caesar, it was not only, not only one Caesar, it was all these pharaohs. I mean, the soul of kings, of pharaoh. That's why there's here the Isis horns. And here too, Isis has this on her head. With this here, the sun in the middle. And now the sun is here and here. And it's again the inverse stuff, you know. As above, so below. It's all inverse, inverse talk and all that. And here's also like the sun. Isis. It's all pharaonic. So the Khazars, you know, it's from this. Ka, Sar. The Khazars. It's all Roman stuff. Right? It's, it's pharaonic, I mean. And um, the Khazars, I mean, the, the Romans, they put them there, eh? They, um, the Pharaonic kings, the soul of the king. This is the enemy. And uh, today's Khazar, 
with uh, cephalic, special cephalic headforms. I made a video about it. I don't know if it's still there, actually. So in, in Switzerland, they have a completely different cephalic head form, right? Eh? Yeah, the Khazars, right? Eh? The encoded CIA name of the Crypto AG encryption company is Minerva, who is the Roman and Etruscan goddess of strategic warfare, portrayed with an owl, which is therefore a Freemasonic symbol as in warfare on humanity. The Swiss government knew about the CIA having rigged and bought the crypto company because I have a file on it simply called code, which has disappeared this year. Oh, how convenient, Swiss, eh? All code names actually are Roman, Egyptian, Masonic, just as Switzerland, already the new Rome, when the Theban Legion, with the commander Saint Maurice, born and raised in ancient Egypt, invaded and settled down in Switzerland in the 3rd century, which is nearly 2000 years ago already. So here's the title of the film, go and see it, it's on my other channel. In 1992, a Swiss working for Crypto AG, codenamed Minerva for Crypto AG, got arrested in Iran because the Iranians understood the not very encrypted machines were rigged. And guess what the code name for Hans Bühler became? Hydra. The mythological Hydra which is a water serpent with multiple heads, like in the end times beast and the seven heads of state of Switzerland. And if you cut one of the heads off, a new one will grow, referring to the new world's order, horizontal rule by many of them. And also that Hans Bühler, the crypto uh, employee, codenamed Hydra, he was expendable. So if the Ayatollah in Iran would cut Hans Bühler's head off, a new one would grow back by simply repra replacing him with another employee. And if the Ayatollahs would have cut Hans Bühler's head off, that would have just been Bühler's day off for the Hydra. No more and no more and no less. This also means that the Hydra, with many replaceable heads of the Book of Revelation, is the New World Order, horizontal rule, with Switzerland being the first New World Order in history in 1291, with seven replaceable heads of state. Oh look, there he is again, it grew back. But what's he doing here, with Dirty Dick here in 1989, as if they were part of one big happy family, the Pharaonic Per A, or Big House, of worldwide pharaohs, a true Hydra. And look here, the thump here, Dirty Dick is giving him the Freemason thump here, uh, on, the, uh, on the part of his hand between the index finger and the, uh, and the thump here, look, chook, oh, there you go. And one big happy family, I eh? Per A, ah, like Per Mindex, the House of Mindex and Per Mindex papers or Per Mindex papers, meaning that Per Mindex is a worldwide organization of Pharaoh. You see the two pyramids and they're forming an M for the Masons or Malt. And this is their, like a house, you know, the Per A. Ah. And in fact, I found a couple of companies worldwide that all have the double pyramid logo, but entirely different companies in different places with the name Per Mindex. The 1960 Per Mindex papers talk about a CIA money laundering front company. And I guess, needless to say, whether we're based, a eh, Swissy? Yes. In Basel, Switzerland, probably right next to the Bank of International Settlements, the BIS, the horrendous Nazi Templar Bank of Adolf Hitler, 
Well, this is what Templars are about. Multinational money making. And they sell it to us as something holy. So those excellent but stupid Germanic warrior tribes do the fighting for these satanic Nazi Templar pinkless killers. The Permindex company was run by a Canadian called Louis Bloomfield, who also was the president of Heineken Beers, with the motto of French Sun King on their bottles that nobody ever has been able to translate, or rather interpret so far. And people are still trying. Nec pluribus impar, translated by not unequal to many, which you may understand only if you have seen my film, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. So here it says on the beer, nec pluribus impar. And here there are four leaves, probably acacia, the concept of four. And here there are three spoons or whatever sticking into the barrel, the concept of three. So everybody who is initiated, they read immediately square and compass. Next to it, there's also the, comp the, the concept of four. And it looks like there's a triangle here behind it, you see? And then, anyway, the thing is round, which is like for the compass, eh? I mean, why, why, why this on a beer, eh? It's not a French beer, is it? Um, well, I'll explain you what it means. So here you can see the French Sun King, uh, Louis XIV, who said, Nec pluribus impar. And as a house of Saint Croix Rose du Plessis in South Africa, had always maintained our royalist loyalty to the King of France. It had already been passed on to me as a child by my private French teacher. And I also had one for German and uh, some more lingos. Nec pluribus impar, not unequal, is twice a denial or double negation by not and un, concerning equal, which would automatically lead to an affirmatory sense to the word equal, so le leading one into the meaning of equal to many, which is one of the trilateral mottos of the revolution, as in liberty, equality, fraternity, and yes, therefore the trile trilateral commission same thing really and to understand nec pluribus impar for not unequal to many you must visualize the mason templar faces of the republic and the horizontal rule for uno pro omnibus omnis pro uno one for all and all for one which you can see here where all branches of the faces seem equal here are all the branches here in the middle right but the french king didn't want to give in to the new world or the horizontal rule so he needed to say equal to many as being one of those branches and therefore said instead not unequal to many which leaves yet a door open for another possibility other than a king being equal to the rest like you know one of the branches is the king well he didn't want to eh? And at least he didn't say what they forced him to say. Well, which probably saved him his neck, which they then took two louis later. But the French Revolution was just a transition from the old world order of the royalists to the horizontal new world order of the republicans. So you must watch that film I told you before, because I can't po possibly repeat it all, all the time. But equal to many, would be describing the meaning precisely, whereas the double negation circumscribes it into not unequal to many, leaving a lot of other options open by just saying anything but unequal to many. Like being forced to be equal to many by, by the all-powerful Freemasons Templar Club thus making both parties, royalist and republican, happy.
by circumscribing his allegiance, getting possibly interpreted both ways. So when I visited the Sun King's star fort, seeing all the octagons by um, his military architect, Marquis de Vauban, here in this film here, I saw the uh, New World's Order horizontal rule pushing the king everywhere by the forms and shapes chosen by his famous Freemason engineer. You see the title, you can just punch it in. So the equal to many is a reference to the unavoidable equality amongst aristocrats through the revolution, which happened only 70 years after his death. Louis XIV is still the longest serving monarch with 72 years of kingship. So this means that Heineken Beer, the CIA, Per Mindex, the BIS, the Bank of International Settlements, etc. They all understood the highly complex internal war by using Nec Pluribus Impar as a trophy of their victory, so to speak and then get drunk of victory with that beer. The slaves don't know absolutely anything about this all, but I'll reveal it to you all because they drove it too far and that their arrogance may fall. The Sun King, Louis XIV, like adoring Amun-Ra, the Sun, the Sun God, had a daughter whose name was Louise de Maison Blanche, meaning Louise of the White House, which stands for Upper Egypt, the Perhet. We're being ruled by Pharaoh, you slaves, who have their Templar money base uh, full of caves and CIA front businesses in the Alps. You see here, this is also um, uh, the, the Duchess of uh, Louise Francoise, one of the children of um, of King Louis the Fourteenth in the seventeenth century. I mean, wh wh how, why why do they want to be Cleopatra in the seventeenth century? I mean, there was no TV, there was no magazines, no. How how did they get the idea in the seventeenth century to be Cleo Cleopatra? Eh? Well, it's the same. It's the descendants of them with Permindex Basel, the CIA made a lot of money. They made millions with crypto AG selling rigged machines to the whole world, which they invested in black ops and in financing the Onyx satellite telecommunications interception program in the motherland in the Alps on three places, Loic, Heimenschwand and Zimmerwald. Swiss specialists in neutrality swindle, just like their Knights Templars Holy Jerusalem swindle. So you better not use the so-called encrypted proton mail, folks, because proton mail is by CERN, Switzerland, and all internet intel goes directly to the CIA and NSA. Same system as Crypto AG. Same system as a secret Swiss bank account, so they can kill you and your family because it's secret anyway, right? Nobody knows there was any money or to whom it belonged to. Well, Switzerland is the whore of Babylon and all nations traded with her. What are you going to do about Switzerland and Crypto AG, Donald? Nothing. I knew that for sure. Well, will you let us do something about that ourselves then and liberate Assange at the same time? Oh, really? Is that so, huh? Well, you heard what he just said? Now, there's crypto meaning secret or hidden. And in World War II, there was enigma meaning a mystery and also an encrypting machine. And trust me, I like to keep things hidden, if you understand what I'm getting at. And I can tell you some more tales from the crypt. While the Templars crypt of the Priory of Sion and their elders in the Alps, 
Okay, well, they steal from America through tax evasion going to Switzerland. So Switzerland is definitely not a shit old country. They're the richest in the world. There are just two types of people, the haves and the haves not. Okay, silence, Donald. Enough. You don't fool me. Right after your impeachment victory, you literally said in your speech, you're so honest. But yet I see you having a good time with Dirty Dick here in 1989. Well, what does an honest man has to do with Richard Nixon, the biggest crook of all? Don't do honest people avoid crooks and certainly don't laugh together? Well, that's just th th theatrical integrity, Donald. The last but not least, people, ask yourself why all of a sudden Pharaoh's media talk about the crypto CIA scandal. And we all know, especially after 9-11, that the media are vicious liars. Already in 1989, the crypto AG scandal was known and Swiss heads of state like Kaspar Williger and Arnold Koller of the Seven Heads of the Beast, they knew about it. So why, 30 years later, the universal media liars come up with this story all of a sudden? And why they reveal stuff from the motherland in the Alps, whereas normally there are the laws of silence around Switzerland? And why the media horse won't tell us how many people got killed and tortured because of crypto AG and the CIA intercepting all satellites and cryptic intel. Anyway, the prostitutes, as usual, show innocent Switzerland as a victim of these brutal Americans and their CIA, probably to give Swissy the chance to write another Berger report to camouflage their crimes against humanity, just as after World War II. Hey, Swissy. So once again, it's all Swiss. Crypto AG, Onyx, CIA, NSA, Permindex, and so on and so forth. Switzerland is the whore of Babylon with whom all nations traded, the beast of the Alps. And no more real men left to do something about it.